Apples and rainboots.com. I just had a great question about masking. What is it and how do I use it with printing for the M1 Ultra? Just FYI, if you do not have the M1 Ultra and you want to use this for engravings, you can do this same thing as well. So I'm going to first start with a circle and then I'm going to also make a rectangle or a square about the same size. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm just going to make a quick ornament in each of these shapes so that we can show you the difference. So I'm gonna set both of these to engrave. Um, I wanna change one of these to a different color. I'm gonna take both of these, horizontally and vertically align them, and then I'm going to subtract the little one from the big one. And basically what that gives me is an ornament hanger. Let's see, copy and paste it. I'm just lining it up with the center of all of these. I'm going to take these two shapes. You can see that there's two here. I'm going to combine them so there's one. I'm going to take these two shapes and I'm going to combine them so there's one. Okay, so now we have two basic ornament shapes. At this point, I'm going to need you to stop and just copy and paste these exactly as they are. You're going to want to not only paste them, you're going to want to actually align them perfectly so you don't have to do any work later. So I'm just selecting both of them, horizontally and vertically aligning. Then you can see we have four vectors over here. We're just gonna take the top two, group them together. You can hit group up here or command or control G, and then I'm going to lock and turn them off. Now, those are always gonna be there. They're gonna be there and you can say that these are my cut shapes, okay? Because we're gonna lose these two shapes in just a second. If you are using the M1 Ultra, you can see I am building this on lasering on a flat surface. We will switch to inkjet printing. However, as you can see over here, they're not supported yet because they're only compound vectors. So what we need to do is we need to make these images in order to print them. So let's go back to lasering on a flat surface and grab some images. I am a Gen Xer, so this image just speaks to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what a mask is by taking an image and putting it halfway over one of these shapes. Doesn't matter which one. If I right click, you can see create mask is grayed out. Also, you can see there's no mask option up here on my editing menu. Now it doesn't matter if you're on an image or if you're on a vector, it's still not there. However, if you highlight both of these, look what you get. You get a create mask shortcut up here. And if you right click, you have it here as well. Now, what is a mask? It's allowing you to overlay one item on top of another. So what we want is our image in the shape that we've created. So we want to keep our image on top of our shape, right? So I'm gonna show you, we're gonna undo this, but I'm gonna show you if we were to create the mask now, I'm not gonna move anything and hit done. We only have an image now, this vector is gone, okay? We only have an image and we only have an engrave. If we go to the printing module, we now have inkjet printing, okay? So we don't want that because we want an actual whole thing. So let's go ahead and undo that happiness right there. I am now going to put this over here. I'm gonna actually make this a little smaller. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make sure that the image is lined up in the center. I am going to cover the ornament holder. You do not have to do this. You see that crosshair there that appeared? It means that I'm centered horizontally and vertically within this shape. And if I wanted to, I can select both of them. You can see this little blue outline here and the transform controls are highlighted on the image. And you can come up here to the create mask uh, shortcut or just right click. And if you're happy with that, you hit done. What if you're not happy with that? What if you hate the red right here? You actually have options up here now on your edit menu that include edit mask, and release the mask. So edit masks means you can come in here and adjust. However, watch what happens when I adjust. 
I am not adjusting the image. I am adjusting my shape. Remember our cut shapes? That will not work for us. So instead of that, we will release the mask. What did I say I didn't like? I don't remember if I wanted more red. I don't know what I said. Whatever I said. Here, just do it like that. With releasing the mask, we can keep our shape in the exact places our cuts are going to be. So I urge you just to maybe consider getting in that habit instead of editing the mask. Okay, so let's call this one done. And the reason I'm going to call this one done is because if we're in inkjet printing, we know that will print. And then we can come over in laser module and turn on the cut. Let's do this one a little bit differently. If you love Lisa Frank, and really, who doesn't? We are going to live out our little Lisa Frank 80s dreams. And <laughs> this guy is adorable. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make him quite a bit smaller, just holding down shift to keep the aspect ratio. Then I'm going to size him so I get his little feet for the most part on here. You can use the transform. You see the transform controls and the auto snapping blue line. That is going to allow me to center it horizontally. However, what if I don't want to print on this portion, right? That's what I'm going to show you now. I'm going to make sure I get that blue line to snap it in place. Then I'm just going to nudge boop, this in place where it's lining up at the very top. I'm going to nudge it a little further and show you what could happen. Okay, just pretend. If I select this now and hit create mask, look what happens when we hit done. If you don't line it up correctly, you'll get printing partially on here. So we don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and release that mask. Now we do want to line it up correctly. If you want, you can zoom in 5,000%, okay? I'm just using a shortcut, command or control, plus sign or minus sign. But you can also come down here and zoom using plus and minus. Okay, I think that's good. So I'm going to hit command zero, come out here. I can see I've got good room. It's a little off center, which I like. So you can see his little body. Now I'm going to just hit create mask. So watch what happens here. Just like the half shape when we did the circle, this is going to disappear. You're okay. You didn't make a mistake. That is correct. Because again, when we swap to inkjet printing, you're only going to print the square. When we swap back to lasering on a flat surface, you would lock and turn these to no output, turn these to on, and you would get this shape. And it will cut this entire shape, again, with no printing here. Okay? So I hope that that gave you a good little introduction into masks and printing them with the M1 Ultra. If you have any questions on this, just leave them down below. I think I will try and print this one tomorrow. So hound me for an update to see how that one comes out. Not sure. This is kind of a dark green. I don't know how that's going to work, but I love the vintage. This, just FYI, would absolutely need a primer. Um, and by primer, I mean something like an inkjet primer. Um, Ink Aid is the most well-known. But yeah, so anyway, that one would absolutely need a primer. Uh, because of the bright colors. But this one you could print right now. Hey, look, it even has fake wood grain. Ah, I want to print that, but I got to leave. But as soon as I get back, I'll try and print that. Okay. Any questions, leave them down below.